Okay, here. Here, here we are at this dumpster right here. Look, let me show you something. Look. Look. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Today's video is sponsored by the Song Songwriting Inspiration app. With Song, you can quickly organize over 6,000 guitar chords into major and minor keys and start writing more sophisticated, harmonically rich songs. Save your lyrical ideas and record quick melodies right inside the app to stay organized. Check out the Song Songwriting Inspiration app today. Links in the description. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so I at least got the clip. So, you know, of the shit in the dumpster, so you know I'm not f***ing with you. I'm not lying when I say this stuff gets thrown away on a weekly basis. So, I'm back in the car, and I'm headed home. I had to actually go into the dumpster and get some of that stuff, which is not, it's not a pleasant thing to do. But at the same time, my God, the keyboard that was in there is a Kurzweil. If I can get that to work, or if it already works... Which in some cases, man, a lot of this stuff just already works. And there's nothing wrong with it. They just throw, have thrown it away because they don't, for whatever reason, they don't think they have a market for it or they can't sell it. I got all kinds of shit. There was probably tons more stuff, like, you know, buried down in there, I would imagine, underneath sort of the garbage, but I wasn't going to go that far. But I'm going to show you some of the shit that's in this car. I've got shit piled I got two Stanton turntables. I have no idea, you know, obviously I have no idea what kind of state they're in. I got some kind of Pioneer mixer. It looks like it might have been a DJ mixer. I got tons of stands. Like, uh, <coughs> there are probably five or six guitar stands and like five or six microphone stands. Some of them were in the boxes, like they had been returns. And the last time that happened, when I grabbed uh, a bunch of the returns like that, they all had return tickets, like where somebody had brought it back. And usually when that happens, what it is, is like there's one little thing on there. Like if you look, there'll be one little thing broken or one little thing missing, you know, something simple. Like, but the rest of it is there. So usually what you can do is you can take, you know, two or three of those stands and make whole ones out of the pieces that you have. Uh, there were a bunch of um, cables that looked like they had been return cables as well. So a lot of times those will be brand new and working fine, but the person just returned it for whatever reason and the package is ripped. And these motherfuckers just throw them away apparently. I think they let this stuff accumulate in the back like in an area or a holding zone or something. And then at some point they're just like, okay, well this is full enough. Throw it away. And they just throw it away. So, man... There was a, a an, another acoustic guitar case. It looked mint to me, but you guys will you'll get a better look at this stuff when I get home. But oh my god, it just never ends, man. I, I could do this every week. What was funny about this particular uh, dive was that there was a guy in a McLean truck uh, that had that was um, restocking one of the local restaurants. Like he was kind of nearby. And it's like 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, well, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. And he was out there, you know, taking stuff in this restaurant and restocking it. And I was over there diving in the dumpster. He And he knew it. He, was, he, he I think, looked out the window at one point from inside the restaurant over there. And he could see me. I didn't care at that point. I was just like, well, whatever. But, yeah, man, just fun, fun times. <laughs> Just the excitement, you know, the heart pounding kind of excitement. It's like you, there's an element of you don't want to get caught doing it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I feel like, I feel like I'm justified in doing it because none of this stuff really deserves to go to the landfill. I mean, look at it. It looks, you'll see it in a minute, but some of it looks almost freaking brand new and it's just like, dude, I know I can fix this stuff. Like, you know, there's a darn good chance I'm going to be able to fix this. That Kurzweil, oh my God, that thing is gonna be a beast if it works. It is heavy, that thing is, that thing is heavy. That was like lifting barbells out of there. 
What's funny about this video is I'll probably never publish this because if I publish these dumpster diving videos, it's like in the past, they'll just start locking the dumpster again on me and I might just accumulate a bunch of these and then sometime down the road, I might just release them maybe all at once. But yeah, man, I'm just, I'm blown away. Let's, uh, let's get home and see what we actually have gotten here. Okay, so here I am home and here's part of it. See what I mean though? See the stuff in the stands or in the boxes? We've got a tripod stand in a box. There's another one in a box. There's a Stanton turntable. Let's see, let's see what we got. Let's take inventory here. All right, I've got a, got a guitar stand here. Is there any, what the hell's wrong with it? Um, Okay, well, I can see this this shaft is kind of turned the wrong way. Let's see if we can turn that hang on Okay, so obviously that's a manufacturing defect You can see the two longer legs and that's supposed to be in the center of these legs and it's way the hell over there So I, I'm thinking I can probably though I don't know. I'm thinking I can maybe grab that somehow and twist that into, into position, but uh, oh, Okay now well, there's a boom mic stand. Let's see what we have here. Boom mic stand. Um, okay. See, sometimes these will be like stripped or something. Like when you find these or this piece will be messed up. But it doesn't appear that way. I think that's a complete, I think that's a complete perfect stand. This one, let's see what we have here. Okay, that piece is broken off, obviously. So, fair enough. But at the same time, I'm, I'm wondering too, whether, you know, whether I might be able to, like, you know, I could drill a hole in that base and then use that top possibly in that, but I don't know. But then again, I can just throw it right back in the garbage if it doesn't if it's not good okay we have a we have an XLR microphone cable balanced cable 20 bucks says that's a good cable I've gotten them out before man and they were just fine there was nothing wrong with them okay this one's obviously been worked on before but again 20 bucks says that's a good cable I'd say what probably has happened here and if it's not a good cable, it's just one of the ends. It needs to be resoldered. But what do we have here? Let's see. What's this? There's a short cable, a little patch cable. Bad question mark. You know, I mean, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with a cable. They're not hard to fix. What do we have here? Uh, it has a lifetime replacement warranty. So what they've done is they've just replaced it and they didn't even They didn't even really test it. Probably they just put bad question mark on it and then stuffed it in the back So a lot of this stuff is user error too. It's like, you know, the person trying to use it is so stupid They don't know what they're doing. Uh, that must be a common failure on these that piece breaking off So that's you know, obviously that's not good But but the thing is like all these little rubber parts and stuff like if you're missing it off of another stand and these little nuts and stuff, you know, you if you have those to replace another one with, then you can fix some other ones. A couple more cables right there. The thing about cables too, man, is like, if you get a bunch of good cables and you take care of them, cables will last. And there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with cables, man. They just, there just isn't. And if you find cables that are bad, you can usually just re-solder the ends. Here's a big, big speaker cable. That's a demo cable right there. What are they saying about this? Uh, demo speaker cable. Declared value $6 and something. So they threw it away. They declared the value, threw it away. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, now this is the... Oh, man. Oh, damn. There's no stylus on it. There's no stylus. Shit. 
Okay, so that kind of blows that there's no stop. Oh shit, and there's also no uh, pad. There's no pad. Of course there wouldn't be a pad, it would have fallen off. Damn it. See, that's why I probably need to go back and get the, get the pad for that. Cause I bet you it's in there. I bet you the pad's in there. I bet you the stylus is in there somewhere. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, that's a real shame. No stylus and no pad. But I wonder. Do you know though? I mean, this would be worth fixing though if I could find the if I could get a pad, get a stylus. Um, and I, I'm guessing that's all it would need. A pad and a stylus, probably. Here's the second one. I mean, can you, can you understand it? I mean, it's like, God, I mean, that's a nice, that's a nice heavy, that's, that's a heavy, that's a heavy duty turntable. That really is. I mean, that thing probably weighs 20 pounds. Um, it's, 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 it's a nicer turntable, dude. Um, just don't know I just don't know you know I, I don't know anything I don't know anything really much about this particular brand or what they're worth I mean I know that they're not that cheap let's see what this says this should be interesting oh yeah here's something I got the other day I didn't show this because I, yeah, I just uh you know, it wasn't that big of a deal. It's just a Tama um, snare drum bag. What does this say? Okay. Defective. It just says defective. So, yeah, again, that's a return. Here's another one that was probably, I guess, a return. Trap, uh, straight stand. So, what, how many mic stands is that so far? One, two, three mic stands. And then four, five. There's number six. There's mic stand number six. Let's see what this says. Musicians gear, tripod, fixed boom. In the garbage. Now oh, here's another. There's a piece of a stand. Oh, this was a screw on base. I bet the base was in there. Damn it. I bet the base was in there. That sucks. What does it say? The screw portion at the bottom is bent upward and won't screw into the base. Okay. At least they were nice enough to tell me what was wrong with it. Okay. Now, well, hang on one second. Let me get this Kurzweil out and look at it. Here's the Kurzweil. This thing weighs a freaking hundred pounds. I bet you. But no, seriously, I bet it does weigh 50. A PC1X performance controller. And we got some we got a bit of a spill on there. We got a couple of stuck keys up here high. The rest of them seem fine, but these seem to be sticky. And I don't know. I think it'd be just a matter of getting in there and figuring out what's going on with the with the kind of the counter lever. Um, this could be an interesting one. This could be an interesting video pop possibly, but look what we have here. Let's see this one. So this was used in the store 
and was going to be repaired. But they had like 300 and something bucks on it, 399 bucks used. But we've got those keys to deal with and who knows what else is wrong with it. But that could be an interesting video. Now this was not, as I thought, meant. It does have a break on the bottom, but that can be fixed. This is a Roadrunner case. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's kind of been it's kind of been bashed in on the bottom, but that can be fixed, sort you know to some degree. It will still hold a guitar at least and protect it. So I mean, it'll do a job. I mean, obviously, it's not a new case, so they can't sell it as a new one. So I understand, like something like this where it's kind of half broken. I understand throwing throwing it away. And but well, plus it's like, yeah, that one's pretty. This one's pretty gnarly, because look, it's coming apart. Yeah, it's coming apart. I mean, it's, it can still be fixed, but obviously it's uh, it's not a it's not a fantastic find or anything. But that will, uh, but that, it has, it has possibility, you know. I think if I spend, if I spend a half an hour on that, just kind of fixing it up, uh, put a couple of screws in those hinges or, uh, or whatever, I can fix that. To the so it'll work. Now I've got these tripod, more tripod stands. Mic stands, there's one, another one there. How many did I say? Six or seven in total. There's another one. And they are in there. They are in there. So, what a haul, huh? Two Stantons. Kurzweil keyboard, bashed up case, about seven microphone stands, bunch of cables, and, a, and what, three or four of the uh, guitar stands, and then this. And what do I have here? I have no clue. Not a single clue. This was the first thing I grabbed out of there. Yeah, it's a DJ mixer. Pioneer. DJM 800 professional mixer so you know this is the one where you fade between them and all that stuff it's obviously used it's obviously a used piece of gear but I wonder if it would work I mean it'd be interesting to test it out anyway so there is my trip there's my trip to the dumpster this week hope you guys enjoyed this one like I said, I don't know when or if I'll ever publish this, but if I do, I guess uh, you'll know it then. So, if you enjoy this, oh, wait, 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 one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, hang on, I found this. This was the first thing I saw, or, well, the first thing I pocketed. What is it? What is this? Oh, it's a Delta Lab DD1 digital delay. used maybe it doesn't even work but who knows i mean maybe it does work okay so that's obviously not perfect i wonder if the battery might be low or something like that there and here's some delay it's working hang on It definitely sounds sick.
All right, stand right there. Blow button. Get in the picture. Blow bubbles. Oh, you're doing it. I'll open it up. I'll clean the pots. I'll clean the jacks and everything. That's probably all it needed was that and a new battery. So, working pedal. But yeah, anyway, like I said, don't know when, when or if I'll ever publish this video. Um, but if I do, you'll know it then. So, take care. Hit subscribe down below. And we'll see y'all later.